Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I entered the information security industry. First of all, my background is uh, information technology. I always had a fascination about information technology and recently, the last couple of years, my interest in the security part of in in the information technology uh, has risen. Also, there's plenty of work in InfoSec. Um, so that's a start. I have a background in business informatics and information management. So it's more of a it's more of a corporate uh, education uh, and not that much uh, hardcore IT related. With that, I mean you also need to know something about economy, about business processes, information processes and you don't necessarily need to do some coding but information management the management of information nowadays you also have to think about information security how you secure information inside of applications um, inside of systems how do you secure them how you make it secure what kind of data do we have on clients how is it secure? Uh, what if there's a data leak? What do we need to do? What are the procedures? So that kind of stuff. My background, um, I just told you my education, but also I used to work for five years as an application manager. So you get an idea of how applications work, uh, databases that are connected to it, um, you know, certain integrations with other um, systems so you know how information flows goes you know how to secure those flows you have a little bit understanding about databases and how to secure them do you have an encrypted database for instance um yeah things like that in the past i uh used to implement information security policies so that's uh something that i know uh, i used to be part of implementing bring your own device and mobile device management and recently um, I was involved in implementing IM identity and access management within an application so that's my baggage before I came into this infosec industry so yes I have uh, my background in education I have my background in jobs and experience but I don't have any certifications I never held an information security job so how did I go into this field? I just tried. I just tried. My motivation of going into this field is out of interest, out of good uh, projections for the future when it comes to job security. Plus I have a genuine interest in it. That combined with being an application manager, which is not a system admin, but it's really application based. I did some technical application management which is not the same as a system administrator but close so you know something about servers you know something about operating systems and how to secure services like a website or like a database how to detect vulnerabilities um, and how to patch them upgrade you know stuff like that general stuff on a system level that combined with my education, I, I think I, I, I just try, I just try. And it's also the way you sell yourself, right? And you have to let people know, the people that hire you, that you have a genuine interest in this field. That always works, that always works. So that's, that's a good, good thing to, uh, to keep in mind. Plus certifications. Certifications are everything in this field. They are everything in this field and also want to do more. I started with my CompTIA Security Plus, which I want to get this year. Um, and actually that's more uh, a security background um, certification. But uh, my job title is Privacy and Security Officer. So I also want to know more about privacy, uh, about contracts, about data leaks and how to handle those. That's currently in my job necessary to know. So I also want to get a certificate on that ground. Um, what more? 
I just started a couple of months ago and um, yeah basically how I got in the field is a combination of education uh, about experience and a big plus is motivation you can land yourself a, a entry-level information security job purely on willpower and the way you sell yourself and the intention to get certificates and to learn on the job and to make long days and long hours you can make it happen I'm sure because there's a big lack of people in this field that have the skills or that want to go in this field even you know you need to be a certain kind of individual who likes technology and see the benefits to society but at the same way also see all the dangers that come with this technology and all the data leaks and all the hackers and all the stuff in the world so on the one hand you need to know something about the technique which i personally find fascinating and interesting and second of all um you need to want to make sure that you're gonna uh, protect those IT assets, right? And you want to be able to write policies. You want to be able to do some IT audits, internal, external, things like that. And you need to know something about security, encryption, um, and all the stuff that I talked about, about CompTIA. I think CompTIA Security Plus certification is a very good way to start but but that's only the security part of infosec um, my job again privacy and security officer i will dive more into the privacy stuff later this year so that's basically what it takes education motivation and be able to you know sell yourself and you want to be able to learn you know, learn, 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 get your certificates together. And that all together will make sure that you will land a job in this field. If not, you have any questions, um, how to handle those interviews or what kind of things you can expect in the field, just leave me a message under this video and I will try to get back at you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy your week.